Hello everyone, welcome to this plan with me. I know I'm going to be showing you something that is very, very late, so I'm going to speed through it as much as I can. It is going to be a quick little July 2019 overview, and I'm also going to include the first before the pen spread, as well as including a most recent up-to-date spread as well. I'm getting to the last few pages of my Bob Ross bullet journal, so I am really kind of getting sad because I'm going to be transitioning into another book here. And here I decided to use the colorful theme, watermelon, lemonade, leaves, bright colors, sunglasses, and cherries. I think that really just kind of, in essence, is what summer is, just having fun. And I went ahead and hand lettered a July budget. I did not like how that turned out, so of course I covered it. I put down some more decoration and decided to put my handy dandy washi tape down. I tried to do my best to go ahead and um, cover, but I did put it down a little bit crooked. But I said I was going to roll with it e anyways. It's not meant to be absolutely perfect. I went ahead and covered some of the gold fort washi with other pink washi that I thought would complement the bright yellow. And then I rewrote the July budget. I believe I said June budget before, but I meant July. Um, yeah, it's important um, trying to classify my needs and wants, but... It, it turned out to a bunch of needs for the month of July. I'm just going to kind of ruin it for you guys at the end of the month. Yeah, um, I think I had I had a flat tire. I had to get my car tags. And the flat tire, of course, all flat tires are unexpected. So that was, like, not fun. <laughs> Especially because it was, like, after work. I was going to the gym. And it was raining that, that day. So, you know, you're just like, I'm going to be a good person and go to the gym. And then it's just like, oh, flat tire. Because they were doing construction on the road. And literally, they closed down my exit. So I had to go, like, a long ways before the next exit to turn around. And when I turned around on that on-ramp going back to the direction I needed, lo and behold, they had, like, these... I want to call them boulder rocks, but whatever. Either way, a nail ended up being in my tire, and it, like, really messed up my tire, so I had to replace it. I could not patch it, but on to this July monthly, I was just going through and um, etching out days of the week and everything like that. I have started kicking into a little bit of, like, my overtime spirit is what I like to call it when I decide to torture myself with various amounts of overtime because I have champagne taste on somewhat of a beer budget. I don't know why I do this to myself. I just need to look for um, a job that just pays more. I say I do it, but it just, it's a long and short of everything, you guys. Just, I'm getting better. That's just, I guess, the whole short of it now you do see some ghosting on these pages here i was kind of upset about it but i was like you know what whatever um i decided to use some of these beautiful floral stickers and you see little bob ross peeking through so i just thought it was so cute um and i thought these these, these flowers are like hand drawn but the, they also have gold foil, and I just thought they were just so beautiful to complement with the other gold foil washi tape, and also the gold foil color boxes from the Happy Planner sticker brand. So I decided to use my sheets um, sticker, I'm sorry, card to kind of cut the, the washi tape because I put my scissors in my bag, my um, Eiffel Tower scissors in my bag, and um, this was just a nifty way to do something so I wanted to pop in some color most of you guys are probably if you know me you know why I'm putting some of the washi tape in to use a washi tape number one but also just kind of somewhat a tad bit strategic to cover up some of that ghosting that you see um, other areas that I thought that I could get it I just used a white gel pen and got as much as I could that way too for this particular spread, you're not going to see me like put anything down, so don't be alarmed. This is literally a before the pen, but I'm going to do my most recent spread like I said before. And disclaimer, for my most recent spread, the bullet journal will be turned to the side. That's just the way that my handwriting comes out a lot neater. If I can do it straight up, I can, but I'm left-handed, so I mean, 
that's just how I, I've always been since I've been writing. I think I got in trouble for it once when I had a substitute. She came in, she's like, your page is to the side. And I was like, that's how I write. So that's just long and short of everything. So um, that's just me. But this is like the completed spread, you guys, for this particular one. And now we're going to go into this actual spread where I complete. Now I start off, you can see my nails are a little bit different. And you see this little swatch sticker mark that says you'll never know what you can do until you go in there and try or get in there and try. And I think that is, I think that's just so true. Um, I, I'm going ahead and putting in the days of the week. I'm using my Zig pen. I got this from my local Michaels store. You can either try Michaels or Hobby Lobby. It's almost like these two stores start to switch off and one thing will carry something that the other store used to not carry and vice versa. Don't know what's up with that. Either way, um, I decided to kind of decorate, not over decorate. And I wanted to continue on using some of these um, beautiful floral designs as well as I wanted to use some color box uh, stickers as well because of the stickers or the main stickers have gold foil why not use some gold foil is what I thought so you see me here doing that and for this I just like to decorate first because it just makes me happier to do it this way. I feel like I've been planning enough to know how to put enough function within um, my decoration to where I can decorate first. I tried that before when I had first started planning years ago. It did not work out quite right, but um, those are like some of my earlier videos as well. And I put down some of these OLL stickers. Um, I'm kind of... A, going through and using um, the blonde um, the blonde girl deco stickers which I think are so cute they have every shade so I think it's really pretty but I went ahead and was writing down some of the things that I had to do for the week and I put a little hide and seek sticker from my shop as well and I kind of wrote down all the things that I had to do for uh, the day I was working overtime joy joy and then I decided to go to the TMV line and it was crazy I was standing in that line and literally um, I was in there for like an hour <laughs> just to for it to only be three seconds transaction to get my tags I was I was I wasn't too mad I was like well whatever one lady who I felt really bad for was in the wrong line and waited for an hour had to get at the back of another line I felt so bad for her and they would not let like the guy who worked the counter would not let her cut and get into the front of the other line which I thought was like I'm like that's kind of heartless um but then it just made me realize how I'm too nice at my job and I over care and I feel like sometimes being too nice in this day and age doesn't necessarily get you where you need to go. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I'm not saying be a heartless, cold person, but I'm just saying that, um, you know, you've gone out of your way for, for someone um, at your job. Like if you have customers, internal customers, however it is, because you, you always have a customer, whether it's like, you know, you work on law enforcement and you're a dispatcher for a police officer or, or you know you have your own business your customers or your, you know your clients just we all have someone that we have to answer to that kind of rate are you know where you kind of influence their experience of wherever entity that you work for if that makes sense and that experience I felt really bad for the lady but the guy w was right you know she sh she should have been paying attention to the signs but yeah I don't know that was my <laughs> two cents of the thing so I made I had to double check after I saw that happen to her I was like let me make sure I'm in the right line because they will not I don't want to stand in, in, in the line for an hour only to have to stand in another line for like another 30 minutes but um, pretty much back to this plan with me. I don't know why I'm rambling about that, but um, I wrote down some of the other things I had to do. And yes, it is to the side here, but that was just the way that I could write the neatest. And I wanted to check my overtime schedule. I literally wanted to work overtime this Friday, but 
I've been because I take allergy medicine every single day I don't realize until I'm actually in it that I'm I have like some sort of sinus infection so I've been kind of dealing with that and just kind of not really feeling like myself but kind of continuing to go throughout the day and it just hit me Friday and Saturday like I literally normally even if I go to sleep at like 5 in the morning I'll be up at like 10 or at the, the latest 11 I slept all the way to like 2 or 3 p.m. in the afternoon my family members are calling me they're like what's wrong are you okay I haven't heard from you I'm like I'm just so tired and I'm just like exhausted and drained but you know it's just like oh, okay it makes sense but I mean, life goes on, so everyone, as you get older, lives with some form of some sort of allergies that you just have to kind of bite the bullet and deal with it. But um, you know what's so funny? The pen that I'm using is actually a dollar store pen, so it's a dollar for like 10 of them, and they're gel pens. They pretty much, they skip less than the Papermate black pens that I get. Now, not all Papermate gel pens skip, the newer ones that are shaped for the cute, but these don't skip and I have a blue version of them too I mean they're just absolutely phenomenal I just really love these pens but um, for the most part I try to do my share of like vacuuming and I am so terrible throughout the work week I like I have this chair that will gather clothes so I have to at the end of the week like start hanging up the clothes because you know I'm like oh you know what I want to wear this but I'm like nah the weather doesn't fit for this and and things of that nature so I have to kind of keep rotating clothes out as well but I'm putting some Etsy stickers why not use them I bought them and I need to use them you know as well especially because I think I'm gonna in the next month or so just go on another Etsy shopping spree for stickers <laughs> but I, I put down a once more love with sticker for an upload sticker for Tuesday I used it in Kone shop favorite shop outside of my shop but for you know grocery penguin just for a quick Walmart run I used uh, creative cat prints I love her stickers too for waxing because you know I have an at-home wax kit. It saves a lot of money than just going to like, I like going to like European Wax Center because I just, I feel like they're clean and professional and I just really like that environment versus going to like a nail shop. I just kind of don't necessarily trust the cleanliness of it. I'm pretty sure that there's some that are hygienic, but I've just heard too many stories and I'm not going to chance it. Either way, for Saturday, I filmed this plan with me that you're looking at right now, and I used another, I believe this is a Coffee Monsters Co. sticker, and it just kind of indicated that, you know, going to be doing some planning, so I thought that big, huge sticker would kind of be perfect in that space, and I drew a cute little arrow, and I used to remember drawing arrows like that back when I was like in high school, something like that. Either way, um... <laughs> Um, got my little workout in and for Sunday um, just wanted to pretty much I, I put down another creative cast prints for washing the makeup brushes I hadn't washed them in like two weeks I know ew don't judge me but um, I was like I have to wash these makeup brushes because this is like ridiculous so I washed them and it does help for your makeup to go on better and clear and everything like that. So I would try and wash them once a week, but I just kind of was off. Like I said before, there's some other work that I have to do on the computer. So I used another sticker for my shop. How cute. And I'm just pretty much doing, you know, a, you know, updating resume, help my sister look for apartments, etc. So this is pretty much the completed spread, you guys. I appreciate you guys if you have watched all the way to the end. If you haven't already, you can always hit that like and subscribe button and always share. I mean, you guys are so great. Appreciate you taking your time out of your day to watch this plan with me. And I hope you guys, as always, realize how blessed you are and always realize that if you plan something, it may not happen, but eventually it will happen. So... I'm a living testament of that, you guys. I've been great. Take care.